Hello guys, this is Gaurav Gauri and today in this lecture we will talk about the GPS, Global Positioning System. So in the contents, the contents you have on your screen, we have history, secondly what is GPS, then GPS elements, how it works, GPS signals and frequencies, sources of GPS signals errors, how to improve the accuracy of GPS, limitations, applications, future of GPS and lastly conclusion. So firstly we should begin with history. So in early times navigating by stars uh, requires clear night and clear careful measurements most widely used for centuries. It's been used for centuries Secondly, the GPS project was developed in 1973 to overcome the limitations of previous navigation systems. GPS was created and realized by the US Department of Defense and was originally run with 24 satellites. It became fully operational in 1995. Bradford, Parkinson, Roger L. Aston and Ivan a getting are credited for inventing it. Now what is GPS? GPS means a space based satellite navigation system provides location and time information in all weather anyway. Maintained by the United States government, US government and is freely accessible by anyone with GPS receiver. Overview Official Name Navigational Satellite Timing and Ranging Global Positioning System NAVSTAR NAVSTAR GPS Consists of 30 plus, I mean more than 30 GPS satellites in medium Earth orbit Made up of two dozen satellites working in harmony are known as the satellite constellation, mainly used for navigation, map making and surveying. GPS elements. GPS elements are divided into three segments. We have three segments on your screen. Space segment, secondly control segment, third user segment. Space segment. GPS satellites fly in circular orbits at an altitude of 20,200 km and with a period of 12 hours. Powered by solar cells, the satellite continuously orient themselves to point their solar panels toward the sun and their antenna towards the earth. Orbital planes are centered on the earth. Orbits are designed so that at least six satellites are always within line of sight from any location on the planet. Now control segment. The CS consists of three entities. The control segment consists of three entities. First, master control system. Secondly, monitor stations. And thirdly, ground antennas. Master control station. The master control station located at Falcon Air Force Base in Colorado Springs, responsible for overall management of the remote monitoring and transmission sites. Checkup is performed twice a day by each of six stations as the satellites complete their journeys around the Earth, can reposition satellites to maintain an optimal GPS constellation. Monitor stations. Checks the exact altitude, position, speed, and overall health of orbiting satellites. The control segment ensures that the GPS satellite orbits and clock remain within acceptable limits. A station can track up to 11 satellites at a time. This checkup is performed twice a day by each station. Ground antennas. Ground antennas monitor and track the satellite from horizon 
to horizon from horizon to horizon they also transmit correction info they also transmit correct information to individual satellites communicate with the gps satellites for command and control purposes user segment gps receivers are generally composed of firstly an antenna secondly receiver processors thirdly high stable clock they can also include a display for showing location and speed information to the user a receiver is often described by its number of channels as of recent receivers usually have between 12 and 20 channels you can have you can see this diagram on your screen yeah you, you can see the ground segment at the right bottom and just left next to that you can see monitor station and next to that user segment you can see satellites uh which is uh, on the 11000 miles the altitude is 11000 miles you can see that so let's move on working principle so the first one is geometric principle you can find one's location if you know its distance from other already known locations things which need which need to be determined firstly current locations of gps satellites the distance between receiver's position and the gps satellites current location of gps satellites gps satellites are orbiting the earth at an altitude of 11000 miles and uh, i believe that you know that 1 mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers approx the orbits and the locations of satellites are known in advance gps receivers store this orbit information for all of the gps satellites in almn ac almanac and almanac is a file which contains positional information for all of the gps satellites distance between receiver's position and gps satellites a gps receiver can tell its own position by using the position data of itself and compares the data with three or more gps satellites to get the distance to each satellite by measuring the amount of time taken by radio signals to travel from the satellite to the receiver radio waves travel at the speed of light that is about 186000 miles per second the distance from the satellite to the receiver can be determined by the formula distance equals to speed multiplied by time hence receiver's position find out using trial literation trial literation now you can see the diagram of two satellites and the orbit distance measurement from two satellites limits are location to the intersection of two spheres which is a circle a third measurement narrows our location to just two points you can see you can see the difference between these two you have a third orange circle now which is narrowing this part with two points you can see them you can see those two points yellow one a fourth measurement determines which point is our true location you can see that pink one has intersected the circumference of pink one has intersected the point so that is your exact location so we require at least four satellites to get our exact location you can see in the right left diagram uh, in the right diagram accuracy the position calculated by gps receiver relies on three accurate measurements firstly current time secondly position of the satellites thirdly the time delay for the signal the gps signal in space will provide a worst case accuracy of 7.8 meters at a 
परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल जी पी एस टाइम इज़ एक्यूरेट टू अबाउट फोर्टी नैनो सेकेंड्स हायर एक्यूरेसी अवेलेबल टूडे बाई यूजिंग जी पी एस इन